You're looking at question 1 of the June 2019 chemistry examination. An increase in temperature causes an increase in the pressure of a gas because there is an increase in. The correct answer to this question is option A, average velocity of the molecules. How true is this? Generally, the temperature of gas is proportional to the average kinetic energy of its molecules. As the temperature increases, the average kinetic energy increases also, and this in turn increases the velocity of the gas particles hitting the walls of the container. You're looking at question 2 of the JAM 2019 chemistry examination. The forces holding naphthalene crystal together can be overcome when naphthalene is heated to a temperature of 354 Kelvin resulting in the crystals melting. The forces are known as, the correct answer to this question is Van der Waal forces, which is option D. Van der Waal forces are forces which hold molecules of the same substance together. Compounds where Van der Waal forces can be found are non-polar solids such as naphthalene, iodine crystals, and graphite. You're looking at question 3 of the JAM 2019 chemistry examination. A metallic ion X exponent 2 plus with an inert gas structure contains 18 electrons. How many protons are there in this ion? The correct answer to this question is option A, which is 20. Let us look at how we got that. So we have a net charge to be proton minus electron. Our proton, made the subject of the formula, becomes net charge plus electron. Our net charge is 2 plus our number of electrons which is 18 and that will give us 20. You're looking at question 4 of the JAM 2019 chemistry examination. Which of the following physical properties decreases across the period table? Moving left to right across the period, the nucleus has a greater pull on the outer electrons and the atomic radar decreases. So the correct answer to this question is option D, which is atomic radius. You're looking at question 5 of the JAM 2019 chemistry examination. What are the possible oxidation numbers for an element if its atomic number is 17? Correct answer to this question is option A, which is minus 1 and 7. An easy way to go about this is to first identify the element. An element with atomic number 17 is chlorine, and its oxidation number, depending on the substance containing the chlorine, will be minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, and plus 7. You're looking at question 6 of the JAM 2019 chemistry examination. The energy change accompanying the addition of an electron to gaseous atom is called, correct answer to this question is option C which is electron affinity. Electron affinity is the energy change accompanying the addition of one mole of electrons to one mole of gaseous atoms or ions. You're looking at question 7 of the JAM 2019 chemistry examination. The molar ratio of oxygen to nitrogen in dissolved air is 2 is to 1, whereas the ratio is 4 is to 1 in atmospheric air because when we look at the value of oxygen in atmospheric air, it's twice its original value. That is, as the atmospheric pressure increases, the amount also increases. Therefore, we can deduce that oxygen dissolves more as the pressure increases and nitrogen dissolves less. Therefore, our answer will be option A. Nitrogen is less soluble than oxygen. You are looking at question 8 of the JAM 2019 chemistry examination. The four classes of hydrocarbons are hydrocarbons are organic compounds that contain hydrogen and carbon only. And there are four classes of hydrocarbons. They are alkenes, alkenes, alkynes, and aromatic. So the correct answer to this question is option B. You're looking at question 9 of the JAM 2019 chemistry examination. Alkanes heated 400 degrees Celsius to 700 degrees Celsius, giving us hydrogen. This reaction is known as when stretching hydrocarbons such as alkanes are heated under high temperature, 
to give hydrogen as a byproduct and benzene ring. That process is known as reforming. So the correct answer to this question is option D. We are looking at question 10 of the JAM 2019 chemistry examination. In the reaction we are looking at diatase is implicated in this reaction. And diatase is an enzyme that breaks starch into small soluble sugars. And from residual knowledge, we know that enzymes are also catalytic in nature. So the correct answer to this question is catalyst. So in this reaction, diatase acts as a catalyst.